All right, we back, y'all. Um. All right, so we're going to go with this one because this is what I was debating with taking out of, taking that Boston out of my top 10, which is crazy because this just dropped. This just dropped. What's the, is today Monday already? What time is it? Pretty sure it's past. Oh, yeah, no, nah, it's definitely past midnight. Um. Yeah, so this dropped two days ago. Shout out my brother C's over at My Fitteds on that. This is Zoro. I don't watch it, but I'm pretty sure I just found out it's One Piece. And this is the Zoro <laughs> Pirates. So oh, shout out all my anime fans. All my anime bros. Cause they be what I have a couple bros that watch anime and shit. But um, yeah. Off white crown, like a dark green visor, and on the button, tunnel new era. Pirates logo, crazy. You got the tan, like that pink, the peach. Like a soft pink around the border there. Metallic gold on the earring. Then the brown baseball bats, very tough. Brown border to cover the whole thing. No, that's hard. Patchwork is crazy. The 06 All-Star game. A lot of details in there with the colors. You got like that icy blue there. The mint border, brown on the stadium. Pink, what is that, like a rose gold or something? Pink there, lime green. Yeah, this is hard. Very, very hard. Check out the batterman though. Flat batty, lime green, again with the peach and then the white. White got a gray UV. They slept. Everybody wanted that happy Gilmore, but they slept. Definitely slept on that. There was a reason why it was the only hat to be on the other side. Because the way they did it this time was um. they had... Two hats on this side, and then the rest on the other side. Something like that. Something like that. Um, but yeah, and this is the the hat that was next to the Happy Gilmore. So they knew, they knew that this shit should have been one of them ones. But it sold out. I mean, once it hit online, it sold out. Because niggas knew what the fuck it was. This shit go crazy. Shout out to C's. You, you, got, you got a gem, bro. You made one. For real, for real. Oh, we gonna show. We gonna just we might as well just show what's in the bag. The Kraken. This is the this is the 2.0, I believe. Yeah, the 2.0. The best one out the three. There's not even a debate. That's not even a discussion. If you try to t come to me and talk about the 1.0 or the 3.0 is better, I'm not even gonna talk to you. I'm not even gonna debate that because this is obviously the best one out of the three. I'm about to sneeze and shit. Nah. <coughs> yes, I am. Excuse me. Um, off white crown, navy visor, navy button, ton of new era. It's that iciness on that Seattle logo, man. On the S and on the compass, all icy blue. Very, very nice. Navy border, a little bit of red stitching in there, but this this logo is just crazy. Definitely gives you that cracking vibe. 30th anniversary on the side patch. My favorite Seattle patch. Is my shit dirty? <sighs> I gotta clean that. I gotta clean that. But anyways. Again with the iciness on the side patch. Here we got some navy. The red border again. Um, navy in there. Red background. What's that? Mint? That's mint on the lettering there? Yeah. That's fire. And with the compass, a little bit of red. That's details, because, like, it's mad small. Pause. And we got navy, red, and then icy on the flat batterman. Very tough. Mint UV, black gutter. This dropped during Panic Week. This was uh, during March Madness Week. It was crazy. That's when this dropped. It was the, what was that? The Lost Beer Pack Angels, the Chords Angels, that shit was hard. I'm tight. I didn't get that. That was my only L that week. I got the Muscle Bird, the Naughty Bird. I got a couple hats that week. That was <laughs> Padres, but this right here was definitely I, one of the ones I needed. This set, I think this was my first pickup that week, actually. This is what set it off. This was the set the tone for me. I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a good week. This is going to be a great week. Um, We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Uh, Hat Club crossover the most recent nba crossover la dodger but i needed this because 
I wanted to have that I was going to be for Kobe, you know, even though he was a rival. Um, I've always fucked with Kobe because he, his mindset and his, his dedication and his grind is serious. Like, it's serious. Like, no other. I have yet to hear or see anybody. It's funny. I was just watching the Redeem team on um on Netflix. And it's as soon as Kobe touched <laughs> and became part of the the Olympics, it was over. Everybody just followed him. And they, they won. It was spanking everybody. It was spanking. <laughs> literally spanking teams by 20, 30, 40. But, yeah. Anyways. Off-white crown. Royal blue uh, visor, royal blue button, royal blue logo. But you see the you see the light blue, the icy up at, around the border. That's hard. I guess this is not. I guess what am I talking about? This is one of the Lakers colorways. They have like a throwback jersey that's this colorway, so you don't see the purple and gold. I like this. I don't think I can picture myself with a purple and gold hat because that's a little too much Laker pride, and I'm not a Laker fan. Obviously, that's like the biggest rival to the Celtics, but. You got to respect it. You got to respect it. Shout out to Mamba. And then we got the 50th anniversary on the side patch. I think... I think mm, nah, I like the sombrero patch. That, I don't know. I haven't really heard anybody ever say that. But I, I like the sombrero patch more than any other Dodger patch. That, that's that's why when I... my One of my first um, hat club collections... Not the first, but one of my first uh, hat club collections was uh, the watermelons. And I got that Dodger because I fucked with some, the sombrero patch. But this one is hard, too. Got the royal blue, the icy. Um, some metallic silver in there as well. Some white. It's fire. Very detailed. The palm trees. Royal blue palm trees. Oh, I didn't even see the Dodgers script in there. That's fire. And then we got the Dodger logo on the bottom. That's tough. We got two different logos in the side patch. That's... That's nice. I like that. Then we got royal blue, white, and icy blue on the flat batterman. Black gutter icy. Still on ice, man. I haven't rocked this yet. I'm probably not going to rock this until, like, the weather gets better. So, spring. Yeah. Unless I just have a fit or I get a sweatsuit. And if I get a sweatsuit, a royal blue sweatsuit or something, I'll, I'll, I'll rock this. Because it'll, you know, it'll go. But other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't picture my, I don't see myself wearing it. Anytime soon. So that's three hats. A uh, good three. A good three honorable mentions. Um, What else we got? What else we got? Oh. Shout out Emilion. She made a hat that was definitely slept on when it dropped. Because it dropped with the Tropicana. <sighs> Tropicana Rays. Off-white joint. The first Tropicana Rays that Hat Club did. And then it dropped with this hat. And I went fucking crazy. This dropped in January this year. This was the, the Lost Fitted Female Direct made by Million. She made an amazing, amazing, amazing crown. Shout out to you. Um, the Lost FFD Angels, man. I, I That ass had like 23 of these bitches. I went crazy. <laughs> That's all. Like, what? I had 23 hat. Like, nah. What? what I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> got that burnt orange crown, but it's a little lighter than um than the naughty joint. Then we got the icy blue on the A, the white wing right around the uh the A, metallic gold board border around that. Very hard. 50th anniversary side patch. Icy blue again, burnt orange on the inner, metallic gold uh halo. This is metallic silver around this, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever knew that, but that's what I fucked with about this crown. It got metallic gold on the front and then metallic gold on the silver. And it got a little bit, a little detail of, of gold there, a little hint of it. So it's still there. Very clean. White gutter. Icy. Check out the batterman. Got like the... Is that navy blue? Yeah, that's navy. White and then the icy blue again. Hard. Hard. I love this hat. Um, what else we want? We're gonna bring it back to the home team. Cause I feel like in my personal opinion, until until this nigga Ty drops that uh that uh Tom Brady 
hero with crown legends because that's what that's what it is that's the hero behind it is tom brady the fuck you of course i'm gonna need that hat <laughs> um yeah so until that drops this is the best new england patriots hat i've seen drop and of course it was hat club now th once i got this hat this made me feel a little bit better of not having the um the lost beer pack the Coors light joint i was just telling you about that dropped during march madness panic week because it's this colorway it's the same colorway got like the vegas gold crown the maroon visor maroon button black white and maroon on the patriot logo the current logo this is hard this is a very clean colorway tunnel new era shout out my boy stopping cap shout out hat club for an amazing hat uh, this is, what, what, what year is this again? I always do this. We got S10, 20, 30, 35, Super Bowl 38. Black, then like, blood red, and the white on the side. Pad. That's a star? Oh, yeah, that's tall. There's two stars there. Fire. Now, this, 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 uh, this little detail on the back, on the, on the NFL logo reminded me of Ty, because, like, he does the Vegas gold shit a lot for the hero. Well, actually, the whole hero pack is the Vegas gold colorway, but he always does that gold with the white, and it just hits different on this color crown. It really does. Like, you can see it on just this, so when you see it, when you see it on the New England hat that he's, he's doing, the Tom Brady, you're going to be like, Wow. I mean, like, but the only thing I don't like about it is that the side patch that's on it is a Super Bowl that we lost. So it's a loser's patch. You feel me? So that's like a bad memory. Because we should have fucking won. We lost to a backup. But I'm not even going to talk about that. But yeah, definitely one of my... Oh, Black Better Gray UV. Come on now. Just like, just like the course. So it's made up for that. Um, what else do I want to show? What else show some more? Oh, obviously. Obviously, I'm going to have to show some more. Some more of these. It's my favorite logo. So, I, of course, I'm going to have to show more of these. Shout out, Brett. Not, not an influencer on the Lavender Fields Muscle Bird. Got like that forest green crown. That emerald green on the Muscle Bird there. The Lavender T with the emerald green in the middle. Metallic silver on the border, like that mint baseball bat, purple uh, maple leaf, very fire. 30th anniversary on the side patch, we got like that pastel gray, the lavender, the forest green, silver, very tough. You see it pinned out already too, that means I'm about to rock this soon. We got the forest green, white. And the lavender on the Batterman flat baddie, black gutter, lavender UV, lavender fields. One of the one of the one of the better collections that dropped this year. I'm not gonna say the best, but one of the better collections that Hat Club dropped. Cause Hat Club did drop a lot of bullshit this year. I'm not gonna hold you. They're my favorite store still, but yeah, yeah, they dropped a lot of they dropped a lot of dirt this year. Restocks didn't do them well, though. They restocked a lot of great packs. But, yeah, no. Nah. Um, what's that? I just showed three Hat Club hats. No, I showed one, two, three, four, five Hat Club and one My Fitties. All right. So, we're going to show... We're going to show some My Fitties. Just a couple more My Fitties. Um, this was my favorite hat out of the entire... Um, what was that pack called that John Jay did? Oh, the series of unfortunate events. That book that he did. Oh, no, no, he did. He didn't do, do those books. I'm smacked, y'all. So he didn't. He didn't do. He didn't write those books. But he made a a pack based off those books. There's mad of those books apparently. This was my favorite hat out of all of them. This one, I really did like the twins. I wasn't able to get my size because my man's wanted it. So I let. I got he. I I, I wasn't. I, I, I bless bro, you feel me? I bless bro, cause he he be he be holding me down. So of course I'm gonna have to hold him down. And I had that he and it, I'm, was that his first my, my fit is hat? It may have been his first my fit is hat. I'm not sure, 
definitely one of his early ones. If not, it was his first hat club hat. And it was the Series of Unfortunate Events Twins. Like, what? That one's, I think that was, not that one or the the Seattle. Those two will go crazy. But this one's still my favorite. We got the Detroit Tigers. What is it? Miserable Mills, I believe that book is. Yeah. Um, like that Vegas Gold Crown, Ton of New Era, Purple Visor, Purple Button. But look at all the colors in the logo, man. Coked Out Tiger. We got the black, the orange, like that. What is that? Like that? What kind of green is that? Is that like this? Kind of. Like that olive olive green, metallic gold on the back, uh, like purple, orange, light blue, white. That's like an infrared. Some brown. Hard. Tiger Stadium on the side patch. Same thing as the, the logo. Very nice color blocking. We got the purple with like the ocean blue, dark blue. Air Force green, mint, some white, they're very clean. Batterman is purple. Again, with that olive green and like, what is that? What is that? Like a, that's not an icy. That's like a electric blue or some shit. That's fire. White gutter green UV because John Jay don't really like to make black gutters. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, we're going to show this one next because I just fuck with it. I fuck with it. And it recently dropped. This was like, what, two drops ago? Um, this is the Home Alone Chicago White Sox. I I just like it because I really fuck with when John Jay does that embroidery to make the logo pop out. And then he gets crazy with inside of the logo like that. That is fire. The olive green visor, olive green button, then like that darker is darker than the logo a little bit, but on the on the socks. And we got that plaid, plaid red, gold and blue on the inner of the pat on the logo. It's insane, bro. Uh spring training, Chicago White Sox. Uh what's that? 1996? Got the, the gator. Like that, that ruby red, that that mint there, brown, a little bit less like some type of shade of orange, some green, nice patch. I like this. This is a, this, is a, this caught my eye because I've never seen this patch before. I've seen a couple spring training patches, but they're all pretty basic. But this one was kind of this one was cool. This one was cool. The batterman's fire, flat batting. We got the brown. The, like that emerald green. And what is this? What the fuck is this? Copper? I don't know. Best fire. White gutter. Red UV. This hat I'm also going to rock soon. I know for a fact. It's the holiday season. Six days away from Christmas. I, obviously, I'm going to rock this hat. Uh. Hmm. 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 Shout out the home team again, because this is another hat that is going to be dropping soon. Um, well, the inspo uh, from the hero pack that Ty's doing with Crown Legends. He's doing the, the Celtic joint. The Celtic is the Bill Russell. And that's what this hat is. This is the my fit is Bill Russell. Got that dark green. This is what the... the the statement jerseys that they do every year, they drop a new color, the new style, the statement jerseys. Um, not Celtics, like the NBA. And um, this year, it's this colorway. So it's the darker green. It, oh, excuse me. And then it has gold on the on the Celtic jersey currently. With, like the white script is hard. But then we got the Boston Red Sox socks right there on the logo. But it, he did the he did the um, the Ray sock, like the tall sock, because back in the day when Bill Russell used to play. And them chucks, he, they used to wear the high socks. So that that was since this is the Bill Russell, that was the that was the motion behind that. This is like an off white, like a gold Vegas gold. This shit is hard. This is a plain Jane, plain Jane tunnel, like an off white UV. That's different. White gutter, but then 
I got that, that clover on the back, metallic green, and then the metallic gold raised embroidery. Fire. Love that he put this on this hat. Especially since there's no patch. It's a plain Jane. I need to, I, I would have liked to see something that stands out, and it's definitely this. Definitely it is. It's fire. And rest in peace, Bill Russell. He passed this year, so RP to legend. RP to goat. Who's that? We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was nine? Okay, so if I show the top ten, show nine, I might as well show like ten honorable mentions. I got how many crowns here I left? I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, this one I wasn't gonna show. That was that's not in my top ten. That wasn't an honorable mention. That's just a hat I like, man. Oh, this, oh right here. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna go right here. <laughs> yeah. Here we have the Brolic Brims exclusive. Shout out to me. Have to make had to make a hat with my favorite logo. So we got that. It's team colorway. We got the royal blue crown, red visor, red button, um, the red T on the the logo there with the blue inner line and the white border, blue blue J, red maple leaf on the arm, like a, a dark yellow on the baseball bat. Um, and we got the 1995 All Star Game because it's one of my favorite patches and it's my birth year, so I always this is always gonna be a patch I fuck with. And we did metallic, and that was the that was the goal on this. Let's see how this looking metallic, and it goes hard. I haven't seen anybody do this patch with the metallic, so like not the whole thing metallic. I seen like a little bit because Hat Club did like a little bit of like silver in in and other in other hats, but not a full metallic patch. And this shit is fire. We got the metallic silver on the inner, the red, white, and blue. We got then nice detail metallic gold on the brolic brims there on the on the on the top. Raised batterman, red, white, and blue. White got a bear UV. Shout out me. So that's a good uh ten. I mean, I might as well show these three. Nah, I'll show no, nah, I'll just run through these. I'll just run through these. Um this was just a great, this is going to be a classic hat. When I seen this, it definitely gave me that classic feeling, that classic, that old school vibe, that Spike Lee, that Spike Lee vibe, but then with that new that new style, that new feel to it because of the UV. But here we got Hat Club, red, uh, red crown. I got stuck for a second. White Yankee logo, ton of new era. We got red, white, and pink on the flat batterman. I always forget the man, the dude that made this hat that collabed with Hat Club. But shout out to him because this is a hat that I really fuck with. This is a great crown. I'm glad that he was able to come out with this and then put his spin on it. And just look at this, man. Metallic silver on the patch, 1996 World Series. We got that pink world uh, on the background, red. Black, this is hard. This is hard. Shout out to my brother Manny on the this is a dope hat pin. Black got a pinky. Yeah, classic crown. Classic, classic, classic crown. Fuck with this heavy. Um, another red hat. You know me, man. You know me and my muscle birds. I actually have a muscle bird on the way. <laughs> I actually have another muscle bird on the way. So here we have the high club red icy joint. Um. People don't go too crazy for red ices no more. They used to when they obvious well almost everything used to sell out last year and 2020. Mostly 2020. Yeah, no, everything was selling out last year too. But shit don't be just different nowadays. Hat games kind of watered down because because of the people, not really like the designers and stuff. Because obviously some designers just be copying other designers, but it's mainly like y'all know y'all know what it is like the ones who just do too much for the clout and whatnot and i i don't be there for I, i'm not on the net for that i don't really do that i don't really argue or do that back and forth shit that's not me i don't really care for none of that i'm a grown ass man you feel me but <laughs> this crown definitely definitely one of my favorite pickups red icy muscle bird red logo the icy blue border around the whole thing though that, that's that's fire to go with the whole shit um, 
the icy baseball bat, icy on his face there and on the baseball, royal blue on on the blue jay, red maple leaf. 30th anniversary on the side patch, very nice and icy. So of course, it's a red icy, so it gotta be icy. Some red in there, metallic silver. Shout out my brother Sav. Oh, happy G Day to my brother Sav. It's his birthday, y'all. Uh, go uh go to uh Super Solid Sav on Instagram and tell my brother happy birthday. Dope ass pin. Um red, white, and icy on the batterman, flat baddie, and then we got the white gutter icy UV. Muscle bird. Like I said, I wasn't gonna cop another red icy, but when I seen it was a muscle bird, I'm like, I I have to do that. Um, and I'll just show one more hat just cause, uh, no, 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 matter of fact, I'll show two. I'll, show, I'll be quick. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. Street Fighter, John Jay from My Fitness. This hat is fire, bro. I don't know why people slept on this. All red crown. Check out this Seattle logo. We got the red, orange, light orange, and then yellow on the inner of the logo. Cause John Jay loves to do shit like that, which is fire. Black uh, border on the whole shit there. And we got like a teal and then icy blue, some yellow on this inner stitching of the compass. Crazy. Again, and then the patchwork is crazy too. 25th anniversary. We got red, orange, yellow, icy blue, teal, and then there's some like lavender in there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there is. It's fire. Got like a tan, like an off-white color there, bright yellow there. Some black on the compass up here with that cream. This is just beastie, y'all. Red, white, and yellow on the flat batterman. White gutter, green UV. Had to show that. Had to show that because of the details. And then the last hat I'm going to show. Just because I don't see people go crazy for playing Janes. The only time I've seen people go crazy for playing Janes this year was when Hat Club dropped the Rolex. And then they dropped the second Rolex, but that was it. Cause people don't really care for plain Janes. I do. I got I got a, I got some plain Janes in my collection. <sighs> but only two made it into no. None made it into my top ten. But definitely the hats I showed are like some of my favorite pickups this year. Honorable mentions to my top ten and shit like that. So here we got a plain Jane that I really, really like. And it was definitely slept on. We got the cactus fruit collection from Hat Club. We got like that uh, green, green crown, like a carrot visor, carrot button, purple. Mem this is a Memphis Chicks. Mem Memphis Chicks, I didn't, I didn't say the team. But reason why I wanted this hat is because when I got into collecting, my bro who put me on to Hat Club, um, he gave me a gift. He gave me a hat as a gift, and the team was the Memphis Chicks. And it was like, I fucked with it. It had this. It didn't have the, it wasn't a script. But it was it, it had this logo and it was bigger. It was just that that logo there. And I fucked with it. I still have the I still have the hat. But so when I seen this, I was like, nah, I need that. And then it was a script. At the time I didn't have a script hat. Now I have a few. But I didn't have a script. So that made me even want it even more. And I fucked with the cactus fruits. I seen it was like a lot of people were like iffy on it, but I fucked with the cactus fruit collection, especially because of the pink UV. But anyways, back to the logo. The Memphis Chick script. Got the purple logo there. Um, and then we got the pink pink border around the whole thing. Some orange, like off white and purple on the other on the on the, uh, the other logo. This is the uh, the uh, the main logo that they use, but it's like the dot of the eye, which is fire. Nice detail there. Tunnel New Era, uh, raised batterman. We got orange, off white, and purple. And yeah, very hard. Oh, this is the cactus fruit pin. We got the cactus, the hat club hat. And we got some some weirdo <laughs> holding the cactus. I don't know. But it's a black gutter and it's a pink UV and it's fire. I was supposed to wear it for Thanksgiving, but then outfit malfunction malfunctions. <laughs> Yo, malfunctions happened and I had to switch the to switch the outfit, which required me to switch the hat, which is why it's just still on ice. But yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Those were the honorable mentions. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe because we got a lot of content on the way. We got a lot of mail calls on the way. And like I said, on my top 10 video, it's just a great channel to be a part of. 
It's a channel about love. We don't do none of that fake shit, none of that hate and shit on this side of the hack community. So if you're not a fan of that side of the hack community, this is this is where you want to be over here, rocking with Balak Brims. You feel me? But um, thank you guys for watching and watch until the end. Watch until the end. I I know I, I know I say it every video, but it's because I definitely I, I really need that because it helps the channel grow. It may as as tedious that it might sound, it does help the channel grow. So if you're not gonna do anything, do that. But do everything else: like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. You feel me? I, I fuck with y'all. Y'all fuck with me. I rock with you. You rock with me. It's just how it goes. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'm out of here.